Welcome to my channel. So today, new style for you guys. Very affordable style as well for you guys. I am rocking these crochet butterfly locks. So these locks are from Naseo Hair, and I believe I have them in 14 inches in color 1B. But like always, I'll put all the information down in the description box for you guys. Anyways, this style took me no time to do. I thought it was gonna take me a little bit longer. I knew it wasn't gonna take too long as it's crochet, but y'all see in a minute when I am showing you how I actually installed this, because I'm gonna show you two different ways of how I ended up putting this hair in to save me some time, because I have not been playing lately with my hair. I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna fool around with it. I do wanna say this is not my first time having these kind of butterfly lock sent to me from a company. I've had them sent on a couple different occasions and I just refused to make the video because I felt like the locks, they just weren't up to par. But with these, I was like, okay, let me give it a try. Let me just give it a try and let me see. And I can honestly say, from what I've tried, these are the better butterfly crochet locks that I have found on Amazon. So the locks are not hard, you can bend them, You, they feel comfortable on my head, I can sleep in them. Um, they're not soft locks, so don't get them confused because they do have some weight to them. They're not the they're not super lightweight, you guys. I can feel them, but they're not extremely heavy either, which definitely surprised me. I finished this style in less than three hours, only because of a hiccup that I'm gonna show you guys. I think this style can be completed in between, just depending on if you already have cornrows in your hair or if you have to put them in. It just depends on where you are with like doing your base of your hair. Um, you could probably complete this style within an hour to maybe two hours, I would say. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. I'm gonna give you guys some tips and let's just get started. <laughs> All right, you guys, so for the first time ever, I am doing a style on non-freshly braided hair. Do not judge me. I did not feel like taking down my cornrows, although I have washed and deep conditioned my hair like this for the past couple weeks. So this is the hair. These are the butterfly locks. You get 12 locks per package and you get six packages total. So you do the math and I'm pretty confident one package is enough. So this is half of the pack and this is the other half. You do not want to put too many of these um, in your head or else they're just going to be too heavy and too bulky. So moving on to the front here, I'm going to do these as singles, which you could do this part in multiple ways. But the way I'm doing it here is just going to take them one by one. And I just take my lock or braid, whatever you are crocheting in your head and I'm gonna hold it up to the section just to see how big like my section needs to actually be so I don't make it too big or too small so lately I have been loving this gummy brand for like my edge control and so I found this little pack on Amazon I've already bought the red and the blue before so I went in with the red um, because I you know I won't nothing to mess up my style but I haven't tried the other two um, gels or waxes but going in with this red one just taking a good amount and I've learned that taking a good amount of gel really makes a difference. I used to did not take a lot when it came to like sections and braids, but you need a decent amount for hold and for just, for just to look nice overall. And then I'm gonna braid about an inch or so down and then just finish twisting up the rest. Feel free to braid the whole thing if you want to, but it's not necessary. So I'm gonna repeat this step until I have all of my sections nice and neat and braided up. Do not forget to take out your edges however much or little or whatever you want. 
and when braiding the hair you see me kind of pushing the hair away from my um, hairline before I braid this helps so that you're not just placing the braid or the locks directly on your hairline kind of push it back a little bit um, and give yourself a little bit of space there so you're not pulling too much so this section is always a you know it's just a spot for me it's hereditary me and my mom were just talking about these spots in our head um, they're just thinner spots for us right here on the sides and so I have to be very careful very gentle whenever I'm around this area so I took out a little bit of my edges here here, and then you see me really pushing that hair back and I'm gonna braid giving myself a little bit of room for that lock to go through as well so keep that in mind also these do come in 12 inches if you prefer a shorter lock all right so the two ways I installed this hair was one the classic way just doing um, just pulling the hair through basically so just gonna crochet it in as normal and then I'm gonna take my um, crochet hook crochet needle whatever you want to call it and I'm gonna go through the actual lock and then bring my hair through which you will see in a minute now because these butterfly locks are so tight um you can't really it, it takes a second to get that hook through the lock they're not soft locks or anything like that so the hook just does not like slide up there very easily so to get this one braid through this lock took me forever um because my hair is a little bit longer so if your hair is shorter you probably wouldn't have you know it wouldn't take you as long but i had to go down the entire lock basically you guys i was like I uh -uh. I'm not doing this throughout my whole head so this is what I ended up doing I just kind of twisted these together or whatever I did right here um, and then I just combined them and then next I just crocheted the my hair into the cornrow like going back so I went back a few inches and then I came up um, kind of like overlapped it as well so that it's nice and firm right there it's not moving and I was like this is absolutely perfect also a quick tip would be to place your fingers you notice I keep placing my um, my pointer finger and maybe my like middle finger on the braid and then I kind of wiggle the crochet hook through don't just pull this hair straight through because it's a little bit thicker especially if you braided your hair a little too tight and didn't give yourself any room just make sure you're kind of holding the braid down and then just wiggling the crochet needle like I'm doing here so again the ideal braid pattern will probably be like the illusion method would be a little bit better but I made it work y'all made it work so next moving on to my edges you guys see I'm also using my Blue Lagoon Jam. You guys asked me to, I still use this and I do still use it occasionally. It's just that now I'm here on the East Coast. It's a, the, this Connecticut weather has been amazing. I haven't really needed it. Unlike being back at home in Houston where humidity is always on a thousand. So um, I'm using it today just so I don't have to mess with my hairline for a couple days and just doing a few little swoops. And then that is pretty much it for this style you guys so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked it if you guys have any questions or comments please put them down below and thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye mm -hmm.